Different methods of preserving fish. Number one, drying. This method is also known as natural dehydration. Like the salting method, it lowers the water content of the fish to a point where microorganisms, bacteria, enzymes, and yeasts cannot grow and multiply. The most popular fish preservation method is solar drying. It is done in combination with salting. Fish dried under the sun look and taste better. Solar drying is still the most popular method of fish preservation. It is done in combination with salting. Fish are eviscerated, slit open, salted, and dried under the sun. Artificial drying produces more uniform and better quality products. Steps in drying: one, wash the fish thoroughly; two, soak the fish in 10% brine solution for one half hour to draw out the blood. Three, squeeze or open the belly cavity. Four, remove the visceral or internal organs. Five, soak the fish for three to six hours in a concentrated brine solution to partially draw out the moisture or water content of the fish. Six, place the salted fish in drying trays and dry it under the sun. Seven, when the fish are thoroughly dried, pack them and store them in a clean, dry place. Number two, smoking. This method is done in combination with other methods. This method combines with salting for cooking and drying. The final process is smoking, which dehydrates the fish further. The smoke gives color and flavor to the fish. In making tinapa, for instance, the fish is salted in brine solution, cooked brine, and finally smoked to develop its smoky flavor characteristic. Smoking. It is done for two purposes: for preservation, for texture and flavor. Steps in smoking includes one: preparation and cleaning of fish scales. Head, fins, tail, viscera are removed and fish are washed with clean cold water. Steps in smoking includes two: curing of fish. It can be done in two ways: a wet brine curing. Ingredients used for brine curing are three cups table salt, one and a half cups brown sugar, and one gallon of cold water. Other spices may also be added as per the choice. All these are mixed properly in a non-metallic container. Fish is completely immersed in brine. One gallon of brine is sufficient for curing four pounds of fish. It is then refrigerated or kept in ice bags to keep the fish cool. Brining is done for two to six hours. Steps in smoking: one, clean the fish by removing the gills and make one half inch slit in the fish belly. Two, wash the fish thoroughly with clean water. Three, soak the fish in a brine solution, one part of salt to ten parts of water for twenty or more minutes, depending on the size of the fish. Four. Place the fish in the immersion basket made of woven bamboo strips or wire netting. Five. The basket will be suspended during the immersion in boiling brine. Six. Cook for two to four minutes or more, depending on the size of the fish. Seven. Drain the fish. Allow them to cool after being cooked in brine solution. Eight. Place it in a layer of wire screen, rattan, or bamboo, and have it dried in a cool and shady place. Nine. Smoke the fish in tin cans for one to two hours until it gets golden brown. The length of smoking actually differs depending on the size of the fish and the smoke produced. Ten. Pack the smoked fish in coarsely woven bamboo baskets. Eleven. Line the sides and bottom of the baskets with old newspaper. Twelve. Cool the fish completely before packing them to allow moisture to escape and prevent the attack of mold and bacteria. Three salting salted fish products include bagoong, ding, and tuyo. Other methods of preservation, such as drying, smoking, and fermenting, may be done in combination of salting. Salt serves as an agent which removes the water content of fish muscles. The reduction of water makes fish least susceptible to microbial growth. 
Three basic methods in applying salt in fish preservation. One, brine salting. The fish is immersed in a constant saturated solution of 25 parts of salt in every 100 parts of water. Two, dry salting. Salt is rubbed on fish. The proportion of salt to fish varying 10 to 35 percent of the weight of fish. Three, pickle salting. The fish are covered with salt and packed in layers in watertight containers with salt sprinkled between the layers. Steps in salting. 1. Place the fish either in crushed ice or frozen brine. 2. Remove the fins. 3. Remove the head optional. 4. Split the fish along the dorsal section. Spread it open. 5. Remove the internal organs such as the intestines. 6. Take out the black membrane of the fish. 7. Wash the fish thoroughly and drain it a little. 8. Rub the fish well with salt. 7. Arrange the fish in a container. 4. Freezing, preventing or retarding the growth of microorganism by subjecting fish to low temperature. 5. Canning. Canning is the packing of fish in airtight containers such as tin cans and glass jars which prevent air and microorganisms from entering. Through the heat processing, microbes inside the can are destroyed, thus preventing spoilage under normal condition and allowing the fish to be stored for longer periods. Sardines and salmon are the most commonly canned fish in the market. This method of preserving food combines the technique of heating to cook it, kill the microorganism in it and destroy the activity of enzymes present in the food in an airtight container in order to prevent recontamination of the sterile canned food. Steps in canning 1. Remove the scales of the fish. 2. Remove the internal organs. Cut off the head and the tail of the fish. 3. Cut the cleaned fish to fit the size of the can to be used. 4. For 30 minutes, soak the fish in 20% brine solution. 5. Half-fry the fish in oil. 6. Fill each can with half-fried fish. Leave about a quarter inch space. 7. Add a tablespoonful of corn oil and tomato sauce. Do not add salt, because the fish has been brined. 8. Sealed the filled cans temporarily. Use the first roll operation of the can sealer. 9. For 10 minutes. Stem the clenched cans without pressure to exhaust the air inside the cans. Then, seal the can completely. 10. For 45 minutes, process the sealed cans at a 15 pounds pressure using the can sealer. 11. Immediately, cool the processed cans in running water. Properly canned fish are free from any bacterial contamination. They can be stored for years even at room temperature. 6. Fermentation. Fermentation is a fish preservation method in which fish and brine solution undergo chemical reaction. Bagong is the most popular fermented product in the Philippines. During the fermentation of salted fish, the protein is acted upon by proteolytic enzymes found in the guts of the fish. Salt does not only preserve the fish, but also promotes fermentation. Bagong is the most popular fermented product in the Philippines. Steps in fermentation Clean the fresh fish well. Remove sticks, shells, seaweeds, and other materials. Wash the fish in a weak brine solution, one part of salt to nine parts of water. Drain it well. Cover the container while draining the fish to keep flies away. Mix fish thoroughly with salt one part of salt to three parts of fish. Place the fish salt mixture in a clean container. Store the begung in a clean, warm place. Thank you for listening and watching. Enjoy doing your performance task assigned by your teacher.